Okay, we're gonna get started here. Um, let me know how you guys. Let me know how you guys like this new camera angle. Um, I don't know if I'm a fan, but I just I gotta get set up differently, and I really can't do that because I don't have enough space. Okay, I've got some um, white here with the lye water and the frosting, and I'm gonna go ahead and just mix that up because that way I can um be ready. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and mix up the frosting just because I want it to go ahead and get nice and firm while we're waiting. And um, then we'll go ahead and get started. So I'm going to stir this up. This is my titanium dioxide in the lye water. And I just, I, this is going to be like a white frosting, so it doesn't need anything special. Okay, so I didn't actually say what we're doing, but we are doing a banana pudding soap. I've made a banana pudding soap um, once before, and it is so nice. It smells so good. I can just smell right now the um, fragrance oils that are just sitting, and oh man, they smell so good. Okay, so that banana pudding and the true banana from Nature's Garden and a little bit of banana pudding, they just are probably my favorite scents from Nature's Garden, I, ha I have to say. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do this with this one. I feel like I'm not doing... We're going to not worry about it. <laughs> We just got to not mix up the fragrances because we're going to be using true banana and banana pudding. And banana pudding discolors. It's got a lot of vanilla. Um, so it's just going to be like a brown. Okay, so the first one, I guess we'll just start with this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the banana pudding in here. And I also want to do some coffee grounds and some walnut shells. So we're going to go ahead and throw those in there. And then I also have goat's milk, which I've never used goat's milk. Um, and I do think it's going to accelerate a bit. So we're going to have to kind of just try to be quick, I think, with the mixing. I'm actually going to put the goat's milk in like a second. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so delicious. This is just like a chocolate pudding. So if you wanted to do chocolate, you actually could, but this banana pudding just smells great. Now the reason I'm using goat's milk, I have never used goat's milk before. My recipes are generally a vegan, but the melt and pour that I bought from Crafter's Choice um, is it's a white melt and pour and I used it today and I realized when I bought it it is a goat's milk base so <laughs> silly me um, recipes are usually vegan but in this case um, it's not going to be vegan and since I figured since there's gonna be goat's milk in the melt and pour I might as well put goat's milk in the actual soap since I've never used it and you know get the benefits of the goat's milk soap. It's going to be so nice. So that's what we're doing. We're using goat's milk. I'm excited. This is not really accelerated very much and I kind of need it to accelerate a little bit. It should, it's, it's accelerating some, but I kind of wanted to put some end beds on the top of this. Um, cause I have like a lot of them and I just kind of wanted to Maybe put a few in between because I think that'll look really good. Um, I'm gonna put that right there and then tap that down and then get my alcohol. My house is cold once again, it is forever cold here. So, um, as you can see, I got these, these are supposed to be vanilla wafers, and while they don't necessarily look Perfect. I think that they are pretty cute. 
But some of these are not super good. Oh no, don't throw them. Why do I always throw them? I don't want to get my gloves dirty. And it's really hard to do things in gloves for me. My hands are just like, nope. And I don't know if you guys can see, but I have lines here for where the soap is going to get cut. Or at least I hope that's where it's going to get cut. And, but I'm trying to put these kind of on the lines so that they will actually get cut in half because that way they'll be visible throughout the soap. And I think that's going to be sort of super cute. Not everyone has to get one. Just, okay, well, that's not nice. Thank you very much. Because I've got to put a couple on top. Um... So I just kind of want to use them all, and I don't want to have too many left over, because I don't really have anything to put these in, so I just kind of want to put them in here, and then they'll be in each of the bars. If I can stop flipping them over, they kind of look like a little hamburger buns. All right, let's go ahead and do this before it sets up too fast, because this part is setting up quite rapidly. We are ready to do the next bin head because this banana I don't want it to you know get contaminated with that banana pudding because then we'll get discoloration so um okay so we're gonna go ahead and it is setting up very quickly so let's go ahead and pour our fragrance and then our colors we've got a little bit of yellow and a little bit of titanium dioxide and then we're going to do the goat's milk, and then we're just going to try to blend it a little bit and pour it before it sets up too fast. Okay, I think the banana decelerated a little bit as well. It kind of, sometimes they decelerate, and then they re-accelerate, so that is perfectly acceptable to me. Get a little bit of time, and then it sets up perfectly in time for you to pour the next layer. Okay, don't splash it everywhere because I tend to do that. Um, if you guys wouldn't mind saying a little prayer, I'm hoping to get chosen by Brambleberry as um, maker of the month. I had messaged them and they said, oh, you know, you fill out this form here and, um, you know, we'll see or whatever. So, but the form, it is not working. It's not working out. It's not letting me click it. It says it's private. And then I need to get permission. So I messaged the good people over at Brambleberry. And I'm just waiting to hear back from them. They're not like super active on Instagram. But I'm sure tomorrow. So hopefully they can fix it. And I can kind of get it going. Oh my gosh, you guys, the sky is so pretty right now. If it would just stop raining here, everything would be great. I was going to get a mold and try to put this in, but I'm going to just try to scoop it onto the top. Make it... I'm just waiting for it to set up a little bit so that it wouldn't just spill out everywhere. This actually looks a lot more like banana pudding. The banana, true banana, does have a little bit of vanilla, but it's a very small amount. So, it discolors only to like a sort of an off-white. And so I'm hoping to kind of offset that this time with the white, the TD, and the yellow. Because before I didn't really put but just like a little bit of yellow and it kind of just discolored a little bit, kind of made it just like an off-white, but it still looks like pudding. But I really want it to look like banana pudding, so that is why we're going with this. So hopefully that'll kind of help with the discoloration. So what I'm going to do now, i got to get these embeds on the top. Um... And hopefully it's not going to be setting up too much with the frosting. Okay, the frosting looks good. And my frosting takes forever, so it should be all right. 
And by the time we get the embeds on, hopefully it'll be time to actually start getting ready to do the frosting. Um, so what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put some of these and then I kind of want to put, I think there's just enough bananas to do the top. Um, so we're going to try to do this and not, not ruin it this time. I don't want to drop them. Um, I think I actually still am going to have too many because I think I just realized that it's going to be two per bar and then they're going to get cut in half. And I was thinking, oh, I need to put one on each side, <laughs> but that's not what I need to do. I don't need to do that. Um, I just need to, so I'm probably going to have like a lot of extra ones. That's why I put them in the middle as well. I can also put some like this, but I feel like it's too, yeah, see, it's too much. It's kind of pushing it. And so that's not going to work. So we're just going to try to do like the smaller, flatter ones. It's so pretty. It looks like banana pudding so much. I wish it would stay this color. It probably will stay pretty good. Pretty good this color, but like I said, it does discolor a little, so we're just hoping to kind of offset that some. Um, I think I can put some of these on top of the frosting as well, and then that way maybe use them all. I just want to kind of like get the ones that look the most like actual vanilla wafers for the top don't don't do that always i'm constantly dropping my embeds when i'm trying to do them it's so frustrating that is perfect we're gonna let that sit for a minute or waiting for the frosting and then i think i have enough i can maybe use a couple of these for the top so we'll see let me just um get my frosting over here and I'm not going to do a piping bag because I'm going to spoon it on the top when it gets really good and firm and try to make it look like whipped cream. So I'm going to show you guys just kind of a little bit here. If you spoon a little bit here to kind of seal up the embeds and then it's actually pretty good the way it is but I kind of want it to be a little bit taller so we'll just kind of Spoon a little bit on here, wait for it to set, spoon a little bit, and then, and then see what we can do. Yeah, okay, I got pretty much all of it on there, except that last little scoop. Um, and I made a serious mess, and I didn't, like, spritz the top of the being a call. Let's try to see if we can do this to where you can see. Do you see these bananas? Aren't they so cute? Um, the bananas we do want to be actually placed to where they won't get cut so i'm gonna just kind of put put them on this side and then i'll go do the other side some of them might get like three bananas nope that's too far over Ugh. see that part of the frosting is kind of just um falling down. Okay, I'm just going to stick them in the side. I don't think I'm going to use all of them because I think it's just, I think I have too many and I'm afraid the frosting is not going to be structurally sound enough. The integrity here is just um, not quite sturdy enough. I should have put some bananas in the layers in the middle um, because that would have made a heck of a lot of sense but it's all good it's all good i am so hot 
Okay, hopefully we won't cut any of these. I feel like I'm kind of getting them a little bit, uh, a little bit crooked here. A little cattywampus. Okay, just as long as they don't cut or get knocked out, that's really the issue is if they get knocked out. I guess we're not going to do any cookies on the top because I just really can't fit them. Okay, let's try to get one in here. And then this one goes this way. I always forget to put the embeds the other way on that last bar. Definitely think I'm not placing these very well. And they're going to get cut. But such is life. Okay. Hey, I think I got enough though. I think I got, I can get more. Uh, this is so much frosting. Okay, let me just do this one and not the end one because that way it won't be. Um, yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> it's tall. It's really tall. Um, yeah, okay. So there we go. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to come back and cut it. This is adorable and it smells so good. And I'll see you guys in 24 hours. Just wanted to give you guys a little close-up. This thing is heavy. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I can't do it with the camera moving because for some reason it like makes it, it flips my video. But look how delicious. And also, I'm going to like unmold this and cut it soon. Look at the inside. Look how gorgeous that is. I'm so excited. I think it's ready to cut. And I'm afraid it's going to give me a really hard time too because it is so tall and my cutter is not made for this kind of soap. Okay, I'm going to just kind of unmold this here because it can. I think it's ready. And I'm afraid to let it set up too much. It might already be too late for that. But like I said, it's really tall. So I feel like it's going to be hard to cut. I'm so I'm scared. Okay. Um, oh my goodness, it's beautiful. I can't turn it on the side because the bananas stick out too much. So almost guaranteed it's going to have to be standing up. And I really need to get like a single bar cutter. Because that would definitely help. Okay, let's see. It doesn't have a problem on this side. We're going to go just a little bit more over this way, just in case. Now the question is, is it going to hit those bananas? I think it is. So let's flip it the other way. So I think a couple of them are sticking up too high. And let's just see if it'll clear. Hopefully... It won't cut any bananas. I don't think it's going to cut any bananas from this angle, but as long as I can keep it from flopping too far over. And the thing is, those embeds inside, I don't want those to kind of fall out. You know what I mean? I want them to just cut. And I think, did I have them in the middle? I do. So I'm going to have to be careful. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Okay. Woo. Success. Hey, look at that. I didn't cut any bananas. All right. Should we start with one that has three bananas? Most of them do. Ooh. Oh, sorry. I kicked. I ruined the magic. Okay. So I'm going to try to stand back here so I can see. What do you guys think? We've got two different colors in this one. This is one that kind of got dark. I like this color better. Um, this one turned a little too brown. But honestly, Still beautiful, and it's so tall. Oh, it's so very tall. Um, oh my gosh, I'm tempted to like. <laughs> I'm tempted, this is like a half a sunset. I'm tempted to weigh it just to see how tall it is, um, how much it weighs. Because look how, look how. Look at that frosting. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, it is beautiful. It smells amazing. Compared to the last time, I love that the, I put the brown. Let's hope that this yellow really stays without discoloring. And really, 
even if it does discolor a little, it's perfect. Love it. I love, it kind of looks, <laughs> it's just, I mean, I can't get over the frosting. That's so much. Um, so I recommend if you're going to do this, uh, maybe lower, like do a smaller frosting amount and just cut it maybe like in half. Um, because it's just so tall, it's probably really hard to hold. But it's going to be, it's beautiful and it looks good. And if somebody wanted, if somebody who really loves banana pudding would probably really love this because it smells amazing. So let me know what you guys think. <laughs> Some of my embeds went a little crooked. You saw that happening when I was dropping them and dumping them. Um... Yeah, let me know if you guys do something different. This has got walnut shells and coffee grounds, which is kind of nice. Get a little exfoliation in there. And also, it's the first ever soap that I made with goat's milk. So, yay. <laughs> yay for goat's milk. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Feel free to subscribe if you like what you see and you want to be notified anytime I post a video. I'm going to try to get back to posting twice a week here pretty quick. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, guys.